The, the uh, MIT Shakespeare Project was focused on the idea that that thing that we think of as the text of Shakespeare is no longer a single thing, no longer a single text we know, and we take more and more attention in the profession to teach our students that many of the plays exist in several different versions, quarto and folio. We also know that in performance it changes every day. Uh, we know that um, traditions of illustration and of film that have grown out of Shakespeare and interpret Shakespeare productions cross media and cross cultures. And so I have an expanded text view of what a Shakespeare text is. And that's what we need to teach students. We not only need to teach students what's in the first folio of Hamlet, but we need to teach them about the larger, broader conversation that crosses cultures, crosses media, and crosses into each of our individual receptions and thoughts and experiences about Shakespeare. Somehow, how do we teach that? Well, in the era of text alone, where you only had textbooks, clearly you could not do that. When it became possible not only to uh, display images and videos in class, but through the computer to link these, uh, that's when I got interested. I'd been at MIT for many years before that, but it was only when you could navigate video that I started to really get interested. So our first set of projects involved modeling a new kind of environment for Shakespeare with, where with a single click you could switch from the first folio reading of, of Hamlet or Lear to the first quarto or the second quarto or to one of many images related directly to the line you were reading or to one of many moments in many films that enacted that moment. So this was my core vision of a kind of matrix of versions of the text and the ability to navigate across them for browsing and learning and the ability to clip in any medium and include that in the multimedia. So we begin with the idea that um, the object of study is an expanded text, a text that includes not only the early versions of Shakespeare, but image collections related to the plays and uh, film and uh, videos of theatrical productions uh, made from the plays. And that is the object of study. It can't, we didn't think of it before because without digital tools you cannot navigate through these realms. They remain very separate. But when the computer came along and the ability to navigate through image domains as well as textual ones and video ones, that's when I got really interested in doing something in electronic scholarship and electronic teaching um, at MIT. And uh, the Global Shakespeare uh, Video and Performance Archive Project, for me, comes out of that vision very directly. Um, one of the things we're trying to do is to move across versions, to move across cultures, to move across time. And the most exciting possibilities in, uh, in the current situation are the possibility of enhancing our understanding of the absolutely amazing work that is coming from many places in the world outside the English-speaking world in Shakespeare. There is a sense for me of, uh, I wouldn't say it's an exhausted theatrical tradition, but it frequently does not interest me as much as something new coming out of Japan, coming out of Taiwan, coming out of Brazil, coming out of the Arab world. So one of the things Global Shakespeare is about and maybe the main thing is simply um, collecting videos of productions from around the world. The first step in study to create a body of material that you can look at. Um, and we've done that. I think we have over 100 titles now. And uh, they're from 20 or 30 different countries in 20 to 30 different languages. And um, we're starting to have a body of material on which to base a global Shakespeare class. And as you know, you're starting to get courses of that titles in many, many universities only in the last three years. And, um, and it's in part because of a project like this. So we're really in an age where everyone is trying to figure out um, what is 
Shakespeare going to be in the global age. So that, for example, a playwright working in Taiwan can become aware of someone working on a similar approach to, uh, to Hamlet or to King Lear or Othello uh, in, uh, in Brazil. You know, and we have had situations like this arise. We were working uh, with Robert Lepage for a little while on a production, and uh, we were talking about um, uh, Hamlet with him, and he had certain ideas that resonated with, um, with a production done in Poland, right, by a Polish director. So uh, this is our role, is to try to create the circumstances in which uh, those videos would be online for everybody in the world, and also to take special efforts to make sure that the connections happen among the people uh, who should be talking together and who should know one another's work, right?